Look at this that little guy right here. The roots are coming through the spec. I know. I can't wait to get into mountain. I can't wait. So they have these corks at um, Oak Street, and they have like really small ones. They're like half the size, but I just wanted to do it. That's really pretty. In a, here in Alabama, in Birmingham? Mm -hmm. What's the it's name? It's over on Mountain Brook. It's um, Oak Street um, Garden and Nursery. Okay. Treatment around the orchid house. And then I put up some of those little, it's a little plastic stag you stick mm -hmm. down the ground. I did it on all four corners. And within 72 <coughs> hours, no more ants. Oh, So uh, that's the only problem I've had. Now, the backyard is teeming with squirrels, chipmunks, a gajillion kinds of birds, um, but they've not bothered anything. So it's just the ants that got, I mean, has anybody else had a problem with ants? I or? still do. Will they hurt them in the long well, run? I, I kind of figured they probably eventually would. I thought, well, yeah. I don't think the ants are going to hurt the plants. Okay. But they do live in I didn't, yeah, I would pick a few of them up. They don't like water, I can right, tell you right. that. If so you water, they all come out, where do they go? They, go they start scrambling, and that bothered me. And yeah, I thought if they're down scary. there eating yeah. those tender little roots, that yeah. really bothered me. Me so too. I did um, just sprinkle some of those treatment pellets. I did, you okay. know, the pellets. But you put nothing on your orchids? No. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -mm. And where you got the little stuff from that you're talking about for ants? Home Depot. Okay. And you told me about those wooden baskets when they had them on sale. I got them, too. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. So the only thing about it is is that you're in all of this is probably that isn't already is going to rot. Mm -hmm. And that's why all of this beautiful stuff is outside. It's coming out. And uh, so eventually, one day, this is just going to fall out. <laughs> well, what do, you, what do you want them to do? I mean, you know, because they're asking me, and I'm like, ah, oh, let me go ask the professionals, you know. Well, the, I think part of it is that it's so narrow mm -hmm. in diameter, and it's tall, so it's very hard for the roots to do anything inside. It is very, you would, I would, if you were going to change it out, I would fill it completely full of water and let it soak for a while, and then gently ease it out, because... When they're wet, they're they're more liable. Like so, yeah. But um, but like, what kind of container are you thinking? Well, depending on your conditions, you, this this is so basket worthy. Okay. Uh, That's what I was thinking. I just I mean, the they basket. might you know the ceiling. It's at a doctor's office. It's just a perfect window. Mm -hmm. If it's a perfect window, um, you could try a basket full of fags, sphagnum. Okay. Um, they do dry out faster. Or that's yeah. why I usually they're there them. at least four to five. Well, there I think they're there five days a week. So other than there's you know. no big deal about saving the pot. I don't think so. They I just did with didn't want to, and, you know, and be done with it. I'll ask them, you know, because yeah. it's not mine. Well, that's it's why I said fill it full of water, and yeah. then you could probably could, get, it get it out, out without having to break the pot. Yeah, but. I'd be more than happy to bring it back next month and let y'all do it and bring it back because <laughs> I don't want it. The age gets to a certain point. Uh, it can't take in water, it can't take in nutrients, and so... Okay. It doesn't uh, like the, the environment, so it goes to another environment that's more... And this is what it normally does in the, in the wild. In the wild, yeah. I but mean, it's like, well, yeah. And so what size we, basket do you think? Ooh. Uh, what you can fit, what comes out of the, uh, out of the bat uh -huh. is what you should uh, fit well, into a basket. Well, to as novice people, you need to tell me. Well, so. um, I mean, like, well, no, what I'm saying is, is that when you pull that out of there, yeah. you may have as many roots as there, or you may have, like, five really good roots. And okay. the thing about it is, is that you're wanting to plant the roots that are in the pot. You because, do want those planted. Yeah, because those are the media roots. These are the aerial roots. These okay. are adapted to outside, outside the media. Okay. If you put those inside, uh, if you put those inside a really in. tall pot full of sphagnum, they'd rot right okay. now. I got but a question. I I mean, in a box that's slatted. Yeah. If there was sphagnum around the, if there's roots in here that are good. Yeah. Then these could wrap around inside with no fill. Yeah. Or they, they wrap around the outside. I mean, they don't the have outside. an issue. I don't think with it hanging. It's just, you know, everybody's like, oh, you, you know, when they go in, and then when people see it. Yeah. It's a cardiologist for dogs. So, okay. You know, it's just somebody giving her this, and it's just she's just had it for years in the perfect place. Um. I would, I would literally try to see if you could do a basket. The only thing about it is you would have to keep an eye on it to make sure it didn't dry out. Because, yeah. like I said, baskets are great. In, especially, yeah. Baskets are great in greenhouses. They may be a little problematic inside a air-conditioned, heated office. Yeah. What so. about just a plastic pot? Pl 
plastic pot, yeah, but the thing is, is that... But what about the height, you know? Or do you think it's maybe just to here and it's just You probably have to see what's inside. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be that, the I think it's, that is, that's the number In my one. head, it's long, but it may, but not, it may be. not be. Yeah, because it may just be the base. Yeah, everything is everything that you would do from here on board is determined by what's inside the pot. <laughs> <laughs> the million dollar question. So when you get, when it comes out of the pot, you'll know what to do, or you, okay. we, you know someone can tell you what to do. Okay. So my question is, um, I'm spiking for the first time, and I have these little buds right here. What does that mean? Here. Because right I don't here, think that. that's how a flower spike. Well, the thing about it is, is that these are our backup buds. And her actual buds are starting, starting right, right there. there. These are bracts. They have a bud underneath them, and they're the backup in case something munches on these. Then it can back up as it goes further so these back. These are flower buds. But the buds are actually beginning, they they beginning to develop. So I don't need to even do anything right now, or do except go enjoy ahead. it. I'll wait until the flowers. I wait until flowers. Okay. So it's going to flower like that. Yeah. But you see, isn't that neat though? Okay. How it looks like it's yes, got no of these. Yes, like the, the tips, the that tips mean they still look, grow. Look like growth. So See? are y'all like putting in the seeds? They seed looking for a new place. No, they're just truly. They're doing ice cubes, and I got onto them to set up now. Oh my gosh! And so <laughs> you know that's helped a little that bit. That explains the holes in the media, then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I put this on the court mount because I only have two windows. Um, so I'm trying to utilize the space. So I've seen this somewhere on the internet, and I did it. And it's been like this for maybe three months, and it seems to be doing well. Um, there's a lot of like new yeah, air root, roots. This is new, um, but this little guy has happened in the last like month and a half, and I don't know what's wrong. Sunburn. So, say, but like it's sunburn. not outside. But the thing that it is though is that you got to remember. You're, if you water that thing, you're going to have some drippage. You got so that's moss. what I was wondering if it's... Um, because, so I've been... I water them both at the same me. time, so I'm wondering if the drippage is making the bottom one more moist well, uh, for longer. Well, what I was thinking is, is that the water is, like, dripping off the top. And Between the leaves. resting on the bottom, and then the light coming through is magnified through the water, the drops. And uh -huh. that may be how you're getting sunburn. So do I amputate it? Mm -mm. I would let it fall out. It should, yeah, I'd let it fall off. Because it looks it like it's going to take that leaf with it. Mm-mm. Okay. But see, when I water it, I only water the, the sphagnum. So I don't water the. I don't water it this Damn. way. Like I water it. Through the kitchen sink like that. Uh, like you laid across the sink. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe if you just left it there. Well, if you, you notice it. the underside of it, you're growing spores. So, uh, uh, so you need to get remove that leaf before. Uh, you know, oh, this. Oh, the leaf, the underside yeah. of the leaf. Yeah, that uh, white stuff that you're seeing in there. Yeah. Is starting, that's kind of like a mold. Or uh, so you need to get rid of the leaf. So amputation. So okay, like yeah, because it's spread into leaf. this one. Oh! I would, I would agree with that, but tell me why you come to the conclusion that it's sunburned and the rest of the plant is. Well, the thing is, is that it, when you get a sunburn, a lot of times, and believe me, I, my first fail that I put outside these... this year, I burned the crap out of It'll burn in a circle or in a patch. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah, I, yeah, I would cut that off. Cut it off. Uh, with okay. some clean but scissors. The thing is, yeah. when I've seen sunburn too, I've had that it was in patches and it never turned the whole leaf brown. But if the but it, usually a sunburn, if it's left untreated, is then falls yeah. to the center. But you can get you oh. can kind of yeah, wiggle so it. You, you have to be careful about that. That can break off. Yes, yeah. So what I'm saying is. Whoops, need to be no, careful, don't okay. pull. Oh, no, shoot. That's okay. That's well, fine. cut these now and leave that. That okay. will. No, it's fine. I'm so sorry. Okay. No, it's fine. Oh, it's yeah. just slightly. Yeah. I think it's salvageable. Yeah. So, but. Yeah, and then just clip it down here. Yeah. yeah. So then we yeah. there. Ooh, we're doing orchid point? surgery. <laughs> this is never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, let's put it on the table. Orchid surgery. <laughs> Shot. <laughs> I feel like 
like I've damaged this thing more. I'm so sorry about the lights. It's fine. Like so, this is one of my like two dollar orchids. Well, to see the grow, the growing, and what I would do is that then peroxide these. And, peroxide. Uh, yeah, just regular peroxide out of a spray bottle. Because see the, see how you think. The thing is, is that that's either gram negative or gram positive, and uh, so peroxide does gram negative, and so alcohol does gram positive. So you could just use that on both. You'll knock knock them down, the bacterial count a bit on there on the edge. And a sprinkle, a sprinkle of cinnamon. Right? And a little cinnamon wouldn't hurt either, or salt or garden sulfur powder. And, uh,